got to stop closing them browsers. I don't know. Actually, I had it. I don't know why. For some reason, it was on 17 instead of 6. I knew he put it at 6. I'm uh, like, what the hell? <laughs> this is a nice tune right here, man. Yeah, this shit's fire. Yeah. Separate the word from my ego. I didn't miss shots on a free throw. How you gonna stop, nigga? Keep going. Never told a lie on a beat, no. But Yo, 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 guys, how's it going? I'm Sam Sarfo. I'm Adam Dash. And welcome to this week's episode of the Sound Centric Podcast. Hope everything is, everyone is doing well. I know I'm doing well. How have you been, my friend? I'm vibing. I mean, we're listening to this new great John Swy music. Oh, yes. Shout out to John. Um, I'm doing well. What's your, I haven't seen you in a week. What's your album, or what's your playlist name? What yeah. songs are on it? For mine... Mine's gonna be just chillin'. That's the name of the playlist, <laughs> and then the song get jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it. <laughs> did you see the little Wayne line? I think it was on the Lotto verse. It was like, oh, what did you say? Like my, oh, that you you say your place. I can't I can't picture <laughs> the lineup. Um, I'm trying to think what my name's gonna be. Um, <laughs> I was just explaining. I was just, I was just explaining to you my struggle with scheduling my classes. I'm gonna go college dropout. Yeah. Put, put the whole fu- whole album there. Even um, my parents don't hear that. Yeah, mom, dad. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not dropping out. I was just having trouble. Ta- I'm taking basketball. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I wanted to start today with a discussion that something I thought of from the Nego album mm-hmm. made me think this. And it was what made me fall in love with hip-hop. And one of my favorite things about hip-hop, if not my favorite thing, is the first song on the album, um, I think it's Lost Freestyle or something, Lost Freestyle with Mm -hmm. ASAP Rocky, Tyler. When I went into that song, I would have assumed that was just a beat that someone made this year, either Nego or someone in the collective. And it's awesome that they hopped on a beat from Slim Thug, which made me dive into Slim Thug's that whole album. And I'm like, oh my god, this is an incredible album produced by the Neptunes. And you're hating on South. I know Adam's been bumping a lot of South music lately. I am. But I, I remember like, who was I hating on? I mean, you said I hate Little Wayne. Not, not don't hate Little no, Wayne, no, but no, you're no. like, you're like that sound he was in in that era. I just yes, like. because Lil Wayne's beat choice is mm-hmm. not good. Yeah. And this was produced all by the Neptunes, and every beat slaps so hard. <laughs> and like this goes back to when I would listen to Logic mixtapes, and mm-hmm. I'd be like, what is this Dead President song? Yeah. Learn about, listen to Reasonable Doubt, learn the whole thing. I'm bumping Friday Night Lights. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what is this beat? I'm learning, um, fuck, what's, um, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Eric time, Badu? Yeah, Erica mm-hmm. Badu. Mm-hmm. So Eric I listen Badu. to that. I'm like, time to say yeah. the world. Yeah. And that shit, like, it makes me learn about hip hop. Mm-hmm. And I love that artists today, if you're a kid, if you're like a 14 year old kid and you're bumping Travis Scott and you're, like, give me the loot, and you're on Genius, and like, you click on what that means, mm-hmm. and you find out about it's a Biggie song he's referencing. Mm-hmm. Maybe you dive into Biggie. So I think that aspect of hip hop is what really made me love it. That's yeah. like your. Oh, I love that artists reference the past, and yeah. it's just cool like that. And like you said, sampling is really big in hip hop. It just and it's honestly an art. Like I remember I was watching a Primo doc. He was talking about how because the yeah. copyright they would have to flip the sample or maybe um, make the pitch higher, make the pitch lower, yeah. just alter things, chop it up well enough where. Uh, lawsuits couldn't come to you and they couldn't yeah. recognize that sound. So it really is a craft. And then there's people like Ben Shapiro who say, like, mm-hmm. that's not yeah. making music. Like, what do you mean it's not making? Like, I, I, don't, I don't get his argument, honestly. It's literally sampling. If, if, if that's not music, the music it samples is real music. So if it's sampled off the real music, yeah. wouldn't that make it real music? It may, and you're making something completely different. Like, yeah. listen to how, for example, like Mac Miller did Blue Worlds. Oh, yeah. And like, you hear the sample, then yeah. you hear the beat, and it's like, whoa. Yeah. He made this into something completely different mm-hmm. than what the original thing was. Um, but going up, so what made you fall in love with hip hop? Yeah, man. Uh, it's, it's a funny story, but again, I've always been into music. My parents, really big music household, uh, starting with Michael Jackson, mm. um, like boys to men type vibe, a lot of Ghanaian African music. Um, and then eventually I got my hands onto hip hop. And that era is a little bit blurry. I just remember yeah. Soldier Boy Crank that was popping. <laughs> yeah. um, you see me rolling, we hating. Um, and then all of a sudden, and I do the jerk and Dougie and all yeah. that. But then all of a sudden, there's a guy named Drake. A lot of people were making fun of this dude because he was singing. Yeah. He wasn't rapping. He was a Jewish light skinned guy. This guy isn't hard. Yeah. Where's 50 Cent and all these other hard artists, all right? And then this guy, amazing, Lil Wayne was at the peak of his form. And it's kind of sad to see now because it seems like a lot of this new generation don't really understand how great Lil Wayne was. Because yeah. when I like when I was like 10, like 2008, 2007, Wayne was the greatest. Mm-hmm. And then Eminem came through, dropped Recovery. I heard Not Afraid, and that song changed my life. 
literally. So yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, that I can, frame I can, a huge exactly. Song. I can thank these three guys for really holding it down for me. A little yeah. bit of Jay Z too, a big uh, B O B as well. If you remember B O B, but yeah, that is when I started getting to hip hop, and I just yeah. dove in. Kanye too, I'll give Kanye yeah. a shout. I want. This I mean, for me, like music. Like my dad listens to like the more like rock music, mm-hmm. so that wasn't like my introductory to that. But just having music in my iPod for my brothers, and I've told you that this line before. It's not a great line, but it's from Chitty Bang <laughs> on his song. Legendary. And it was like um, he said, um, "You're not from BK, but you can't always have it your way." Not that good of a line, <laughs> but like at that point, I'm like, "That's so cool!" Like yeah. how he's doing that, and I just fell in love with like metaphors and mm-hmm. stuff from there. Um, but going off this conversation. Who are your five favorite rappers? Now, who do you think is the best? Okay. Who are your favorite? I know this on the back of my head. It's obviously going to be Eminem, Nas, and Jay-Z. These are the rappers I listen to the most. Yeah. Um, they are the, obviously, OGs, but, I mean, if you want to hear rap at its finest form, these are the three guys you should really listen to. And then those last two slots would have to go to, yes, Kendrick and Cole. Kendrick, for sure, number f- number four. Cole number five, and Cole's Cole's um, vulnerability means a uh-huh. lot to me, and the way that he crafts his music, where everything is not just BS, it's actual meaningful lyrics, means a lot yeah. to me. Number six, I'll just give a bonus for Kanye. Kanye used to be in that top five. Yeah. Recently, he got booted out. So, Shit, so, so now it's my boy J. Fine. Cole, because he doesn't dwell in no BS, he doesn't care about the fame, yeah. he drops the album, dips, and cares about his family. Wait, now I have to rethink my top five, because I totally forgot about Kanye. Yeah. Um, Man, screw Kanye, bro. Bro, <laughs> I'm Kyle Shop and Lane Registration like the I best know, albums I know, ever. I know. And not to rethink my top five albums. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so you know, Cole's my goat. Yep. Cole's the goat. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go, fuck, this is hard. Because mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, I don't want to, there's some people I'm listening to right now that I love, like Smino, yeah. but I don't think he's actually in the top five yet. Okay. I'm going to go J. Cole. Not sure he's a rapper, but Anderson Pack. That's fine. You'd think I'd, you'd say Kendrick, no? Biggie. <laughs> he said, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Biggie. Okay. Kanye, Kendrick, and who's my six? J.I.D., because I love J.I.D. Okay, fair I enough. think I need more. This is hard to say because Biggie doesn't have that much material, mm-hmm. but I think I need, like, I fucking love J.I.D., and maybe yeah. just one more album will put him at number two, because I, like, it's my guy. I met him, too, which probably helps me, like, love him more. That's my guy. Did you know him before Dreamville? No, I found out from the Never story okay, when it dropped. Yeah. Um, but again, I've never seen, a, I mean, at least uh, people around me, I've never seen anyone who goes as hard for Jid as you. Yeah. So, hey, Jid, my, if you're hearing this guy, he's... Yeah, dude, that's my... Yeah, Sammy, I'll work for you in Dreamville. <laughs> I'll market you. It'd be crazy. Um, so then what are your top five favorite albums of all yeah, time? Yeah, that's, that's pretty easy for me. A little bit. Number one, which always battles with number two, but number one will forever be in my heart, is the Eminem show by Eminem. I've never heard rapping at, at, at the highest form like that before. Elite yeah. MCing. Number two... To Pimp a Butterfly. That album means so much yes, to sir. me, what it talks about, especially being a black guy in America means so much. Number mm-hmm. three, it was written Nas. Um, right. I said it before, That's I'll crazy say it again. Illmatic. It, I like it more than Illmatic. Illmatic is great, but I don't know, something about it was written. Um, I say the same thing with Black Album. Um, it was written in Eminem show. It's the rappers at their rapping peak, but they yeah. infuse commercial sounds with it. Well, it's not too commercial, but it's like the perfect yeah. blend. What did, what did Jay Z refer to it as on um, Takeover? He's like the next one was like eh, like referring to it was real. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay Z, shut up, come on. <laughs> uh, Ether came back and slapped him real hard. But yeah. those are the three. Number four, AT Aliens, Outcast. Okay, it's up there. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep, I, man. I've never heard an album so experimental, so different. Yeah. And Ele- for them to do that, Elevators back then, is crazy. Yeah. That snare on it, right? Ridiculous. It's just, I've never heard music so weird and different, and yeah. I just love every track. Um, and then number five? That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, look at the answer board. <laughs> I'll have to say Jay-Z, Black Album, for sure. That's Black easy, album. Black Album. That, and that, to me, is Jay-Z's best. What do you think is second best? I hope we agree. So, Reasonable Doubt yeah, Blueprint. Yeah, yeah. Reasonable Doubt Blueprint. I'll say Reasonable <laughs> Doubt. Reasonable Doubt could be his best, too. Right. I think Black Album is just more polished. All right, so my top five albums, mm-hmm. I know... It's so hard for me to choose between 2014 Four Still Drives mm-hmm. and Four Your Eyes Only. Yeah, one 2014. Of them, I'm not going to lie. Four Your Eyes is good. It's really because mm-hmm. Change mm-hmm. and the song Four Your Eyes Only are like my two favorite J. Cole songs ever. I'm going to go 2014. Okay. Fair Play right. it safe for now. Yeah. Um, to Pimp a Butterfly, mm-hmm. I the Tapestry in My Room. That's like, that album really grew on me. Like yeah. I did not, I'm like, what the fuck is this at mm-hmm. first? Like, this dick ain't for me. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? The, what music is this? But like years later, when yeah. I revisit it and my music taste matured, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, th- oh, also, for my favorite artist, I forgot Mac Miller. Oh, fuck. Mac. Yeah, Mac's somewhere in there. I, I'm t- fuck, it's easy in there. Yeah. Um, 
My next album, uh, Faces, Mac Miller. Okay. But that's awesome. My top, it, like, I'm trying to choose one from each artist, and I think I go between Faces, Good AM, Circles, and Swimming mm-hmm. every single day. But Faces inspired my music style a lot, so I'll go with Faces. Um, Ready to Die. I don't think there's better storytelling. Yeah. Like, that shit's, ugh, he's, he's so good. And Late Registration. Okay. But then, like, Six Man, like Malibu mm-hmm. by Anderson Pack. There's probably some other ones I'm forgetting. If I extend the list, I can definitely throw in some Mac, some Logic, and some... Uh, What's your favorite Logic album? Oh, Incredible True Story, no okay. doubt. Word. That project is amazing. Like Under Pressure is great, but I agree. I think it's the Incredible True yeah. Story. Actually, I'm actually surprised how much you like Biggie. I love Biggie. I love Biggie too, but I do like Tupac more. I mean, I was telling you before, that like just before we started mm-hmm. recording, that I can't explain why I love somebody's pen. Mm-hmm. But there's something about the way he writes yeah. and his storytelling. Like, it literally feels like if you listen to Warning mm-hmm. and it's like the beeping sound starts yeah. and like, it literally just, yeah. he's very cinematic with mm-hmm. it. I'm not sure there's a, I mean, Slick Rick's the fucking go to storytelling, yeah. but I don't know if there's a better person at storytelling than Biggie, the way like, I Nas. feel like I'm going Biggie. And I'll put M over him too. I put Nas and M over. Biggie's amazing. I'm, they're all the same. I'll, all right, I'll, they're all great. They're all great. Right. <laughs> I won't have to compare and contrast. Um, but going great. along with this, I thought it was a, be a funny discussion because mm-hmm. I was listening to some music yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck is this yeah, line? Yeah. So here are some lines from some of my favorite artists that I don't think it checked enough. And like, we're not going to put Eminem in this discussion because those weren't bad lines. That's just like how he rapped yeah, and maybe yeah. it just aged poorly. Yeah. I'm not going to put Tyler the Creator lines in this because like we all know he's matured, mm-hmm. like stabbing Bruno Mars in his goddamn esophagus. <laughs> but we don't need to talk about that. But to kind of contradict my last statement, we got one from... Uh, the notorious B.I.G. Okay. You look so good, I'd suck on your daddy's dick. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. Now, not Biggie's best line. Um, ASAP Rocky on Goldie. Um, yes, I'm the shit. Tell me, do it stank. Um, I'm very against lines. There's something like certain words in rap I just yeah. don't like. Okay. And I'll talk about this later in the Lotto album. Um, okay. Childish Gabino said, like, like, they say that I'm smelly. They never, I don't know, the word smelly. I that like, too. yeah, that's weird. I, don't, but, I just yeah. don't like that. So... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shit lines, and J. Cole is famous for his yeah. shit lines. He's a bunch. Yeah. I picked, um, they say I'm like the human body. I produce my own shit. There's one, too, that I have to acknowledge. And I know I just kept roasting my friends, because back then, I was saying 2014 wasn't a classic. Yeah. And he says, uh, apparently, I'm hot dog, catch up, up to me. me. Yeah. Bro, like, I remember I was just shredding J. Cole for that line. Yeah, he, he's too good at <laughs> rapping to do that. Um, Lil Wayne said, Rodney King, baby, beat it like a cop. Yeah, bro. Like, that's did. pretty fucked up. Well, sort of and also, like, that too. Lil Wayne has a history of, like, not being the most supportive yeah. of, like, the black mm-hmm. movements. Mm-hmm. So I think that's, like, a weird line for him to make. Because he said, like, there's no racism. He's like, I've never experienced racism. Yeah. Same with uh, Kanye. Um, he said a similar line that, um, uh, mad as hell, that, my, that I looked like Emmett Till. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone was roasting him when he dropped that at first. Yeah, it's like a weird line. <laughs> and this one, personally... I don't know what Andre 3000 was thinking when he said this line, but he said, you're so Anne Frank, let me hit, let's me let hit the attic and hide out for two weeks. Yeah. What? Come on, Chief. Bro, she died, like, <laughs> in the Holocaust. You're, he said, they said, you're so Anne Frank. That's a weird-ass line. It's crazy to me because uh, Andre 3000 having a whack line? Never. <laughs> Bro, he probably has a couple more if you look, because he raps in such a weird style. I'm That's sure he true. said some other shit, but saying on so fresh and so clean too. Yeah. It's like such a dope song, yeah. and you're saying uh, the Big Boy's the, the reason why that song's good. Not it's like not three. Big stacks. Boy needs his props. To me, Big Boy's honestly just as good as Three Thousand. He yeah. gets no Bro, props. His flow is so crazy. Yeah. Like he bends words. Like there's like I can't bend words like mm-hmm. that. Like I don't have the accent to mm-hmm. do it. But he'd be like talking and bugging and bugging yeah. and like yeah, and it's hard changes. to even like sing it's it back crazy. out loud. Oh my god! Yeah, um, but do you, do you have any on the top of your head that are some like crappy? You, you caught me lines? off guard. I, the only one I could think yeah. of was that J Cole line. Sorry, J Cole. Um, Little Wayne has a bunch. M has a bunch. Yeah. Um, I just remember on like all she wrote like, "Why would I buy your gay ass teddy bear? You're already bipolar." I remember M said that, which was which was bad, bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got Dude, M has a lot because he like really searches for like. Like breaking down words into like a clever thing, and a lot of times, like on like the newer yeah. albums, like it doesn't work that well. But I, like, uh-huh. it's what made me fall in love with hip hop at yeah. first. But now, as I mature, I'm like not that as much into those lines. You know what I'll say though? I think Lil Wayne is the start of that. When you say blah blah blah, obviously people have done it before. But yeah, what yeah. popularized it was like blah 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 like this, blah 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 like that, um, or it's like um, 
how how did Drake say um, on Forever? First name or last name greatest? Um, like a sprained ankle. Uh, like a sprained ankle, whatever. Nemo. I can get on the ball. Yeah. She know. Like that's like Little Wayne style. Yeah, yeah. And after that, everyone started copying, trying to make these clever punchlines yeah. and stuff, which just don't go yeah. out well. And I don't want to call Wayne just a punchline rapper. Of course because not. Of course. He not. has like conceptual mm-hmm. songs and storytelling songs, but like yeah, he like a lot of his style is punchline, mm-hmm. and I think like I prefer rappers who mm-hmm. are more like storytelling yep. slash flow based than like and rhymes and rhymes than like mm-hmm. strictly just punchlines yeah and M was like that before until he came back from retirement and they started doing that punchline yeah, type yeah. style which a lot some of rappers the, are doing because a lot of times it's forced in a song mm-hmm. it's one thing if it's a punchline that goes along with, with the concept you are saying mm-hmm. works completely like for example um, on the song we reviewed Neck Up a couple weeks ago mm-hmm. where Dende said like let's watch Netflix I just want to see you um is it a As Wi-Fi ne- bar? Netflix, Netflix and chill, like, and, like, give me head, like, you suck, because you want to succeed. Mm-hmm. And, like, it went along with just the whole vibe mm-hmm. of, like, Netflix and chill. Mm-hmm. And, like, it made sense. Yeah. But I don't need to hear, like, a random punchline, like, That's true. bar at the bar. If it's a freestyle, go for it. Yeah. Like, if it's on, if you're on Funk Flex, give me some bars. But I prefer yeah. someone like Marlon Craft when he goes on, mm-hmm. and we'll go to Marlon Craft My rant. boy. But he's talking, like, real facts mm-hmm. and... Um, pe- this guy gets a lot of hate token if you know yeah. him. But his new yeah. freestyle, he's talking about some real shit. He's not just doing On a like, flex? Yeah. That shit was heat. Killed it. Congratulations, Token. I mean, that was his first time there, too. And I know he was yeah, yeah, dying yeah. to get that. He killed that. Killed Don't sleep that on one. Token, y'all. Leave him alone. He's, he's doing and his And his sway freestyle is really hard, but mm-hmm. it is like more punchline rap. But this time, it's fire. I like the offbeat flow, too. It's kind of it's kind of like offbeat or weird. His yeah, flow. yeah. He, he's really good. Like, it's trying st- to be different. It's all, like, he's on beat for himself. Like He never loses his track, yeah. but like it's not on to the drums. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And then going along with the still this love of hip hop, mm-hmm. do you know what your favorite rap man. line ever is? I wish I wish I can prepare my guy. I yeah, no, so- <laughs> it's just hard. I have, oh man, I have a line at the top of my head. Okay, it's from a JID freestyle. I don't know if this is actually my favorite line ever. It's also, it's also like it's kind of offensive. Okay, he goes, um, "Gay guys do drive bys. That's a fruit roll up, and I'm not homophobic. My gun a blower." <laughs> and I don't know why, but that line always stuck out to me. Uh-huh. He also said, this is not my fair line, but he said, um, what you call a chick you don't suck dick, you don't. And that's just... <laughs> Crazy gym. I do know one line. It's not even necessarily about punchlines per se. It's more so the heart of it. I yeah. know like, well, it's just popping my head, obviously, but like, I'm not my rap god. He says, I bully myself because I make me do what I put my mind to. Uh, I just love that just, again, like that. what he's faced. Yeah, and he's just bullying himself so he can be the best um, and obviously expand his penmanship, you know? So I love that too. I'm trying to think of more. There's definitely more. I mean, I'm probably sure there's oh, like- Oh, Nas. Oh my God. This is still one of the greatest intros I've ever heard on. I got to get ready. Yeah, yeah. Get, okay. Brace yourself. <laughs> I came in the game, blah, blah, my game. I overstayed. The truth is so lame. I shoot cannons that I shoot balls of flame. Right in the fat mouth, so I carve my name. Nas too real. Nas true kings, whatever you feel. Go ahead, you swing. Your arms too short to box of God. I yes. don't kill soloists, only kill squads. That's fire. Bars. That's so, you're the man. I'm still I didn't know. It. So this is a. Part about learning hip hop. I didn't know Talib Kweli on Black Star mm-hmm. used that line. Your arms are too short to box with God. Who is the first? That would have been 1998 when Black Star came out. Damn Nas, that's tough. So when was that from Nas? Uh, 2001, still mad. Yeah, shout out Talib. <laughs> what up, boy? Um, that's like I, that's a good ass line. I'm yeah. probably I'm sure there's a line in soundtrack to my life that's like my mm-hmm. favorite song ever. I'm sure there's something in there that like really hits me. Yeah, I'm trying. There's probably a biggie line. I wish I came pre- yeah. prepared for my own topic too. Yeah. Um, Fuck, I can't think. Mm. <laughs> but I want to another topic on like the opposite side of loving hip hop. Mm. What is your opinion on rappers who are like yelling rappers? So the examples mm. are DMX, Denzel Curry, who we'll review later, mm. Rico Nasty, XXX. I could be forgetting some people maybe mm. in the '90s that are yeah. more yelling. I guess ODB. Yeah, it depends for me honestly. It depends who you are and honestly if it's good or not. DMX, I love him. Yeah. So like his yelling, I really do enjoy. Um, for a lot of new artists, like we'll get to have Denzel and stuff, I just don't like the experimental yelling type vibe. If it's good, it's good. Like even sometimes M would yell the way I am. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like that aggressive flow. It's different and I mess with it. And it's like street, yeah. honestly, street battle rapping. M, M on Remember Me, uh-huh. if I was in the studio and I was Dre, I'd be so scared. <laughs> For that guy was yelling. Uh, with the Six Sick Dreams of Picnic Scenes, two kids, 16s yeah. and M16s. And two, Remember yeah. Me. Yeah, that, that's probably one of the great uh, shots songs, in my opinion. This isn't my favorite line, but from M. Um, yeah. Whack or good? Both, um, um, 
sorry, wait, was the fucking sorry, Puff. I don't care. The chick with my own mother. I yeah, still fuck yeah, with yeah. no <laughs> with no rubber and come inside her and have a son and a new brother at the same time and just say, say that it ain't mom. mom. What's my name? Yep. Um, I don't know why I like that line. I just thought it was <laughs> it's like so fucked up. It's like how did you even think to like rhyme everything? That's the thing that's impressive about M. It's like Sick he's, man. he's being so crazy. Yeah. But the rhyme scheme is so good. Yeah. So it's like he's, I don't know how the fuck he does it. And that's why he's my favorite. Because honestly, when it comes down to it, I don't even need punchlines. I really just need rhymes and wordplay. And just how you orchestrate your rhymes. Yeah. And M is the best at that. Same with Biggie um, too. So I'll give Biggie that yeah. love. His um, verse on, um, what's it called? With Bone Thugs and Harmony. Uh, is this on Life After Death? Yeah. Yeah, I know the song. Um, I it's called like the th- name. Thug, it's called Thug something. But um, that flow is crazy. I've seen like the YouTube mm-hmm. video on that. Um, but my opinion on yelling rappers, mm-hmm. like someone like DMX, and I'm t- even like the, there's legends that I respect and I I listen to their music and it's amazing. Like I get it, mm-hmm. but it's not what I bump personally. Damn, don't so, like, don't do it. Don't do it to DMX, bro. I know, like his songs are amazing, <sighs> and like when I'm at the gym, I'll play DMX. Okay. And like get, get myself hype. Don't tell me but, he's a strictly gym guy. <laughs> I'm just like, that's just not what appeals to my ears. Like, when I hear yelling, and sometimes it works in the Curry album, and I'll discuss that more yeah. later. Rico Nasty, I don't really fuck with. Okay. Um, someone like XXX, even he was changing his style mm-hmm. slowly. And, like, look at me, he's like funny yelling. Like, I'm yeah. down with that, yeah. but it doesn't work, like, all the time. So Have not... you heard all of um, It's Dark and Hell's Hot by DMX? Yes. And how'd you feel about that project? It's like a. I know it's amazing. His lyricism and the way he's so vulnerable mm-hmm. is incredible. But it's not something that yeah, like I'm re- I'm gonna like be like oh I'm gonna bump this album today. Yeah, I can understand that. That's me sometimes when it comes to that type of style. But like when it's like rarities like DMX and I hear that I'm like yo this is amazing. Even though yeah. I usually probably wouldn't like this, I love it. Have you know slipping by DMX? Yes, I'm slipping. That's my, that's my favorite song. By him. Yeah, yeah, it's a fire song. Yeah. Well, in that chorus, he's not yelling. Yeah, so. that's the thing. He's not, <laughs> he's not yelling. Yeah. Um. So I was watching an interview with um, Pusha. It was his Hot Ones interview. Yeah. Shout out Sean Evans. If you ever watch, he's an amazing interviewer. Okay. And they were talking about disc records, mm-hmm. and he was like, kind of talking about Drake. But he's yeah. saying that in this generation, disc records aren't the same, where it's not ruining mm-hmm. your career. Like, Drake became, kills Meek Mill, mm-hmm. and now they're good friends, mm-hmm. and Meek Mill is just as famous, if not more famous, than he was before. Yeah. That's partly because of the jail stuff that he went mm-hmm. through. And yeah, yeah. And Jay-Z's that, involvement. Um, and then we saw, and then we see Drake and Pusha. Mm-hmm. Pusha murders his man. Yeah. Murders. Drake is still the same. I, I want to make a clear statement. His Duppy freestyle was actually good. It is really good. But Push just had this, like, it's not, it's not even like Pusha You are rap hiding better. a child. Let yeah, that, that boy that... come home. Deadbeat motherfucker playing border control. Yuck. Just the concert he yeah. had was, yeah. Bro, me and my brother just laugh at that song. It's crazy that he exposed <laughs> you know, it. You are hiding a, a child. child. <laughs> Let that boy come. And home. he deserves more than an Adidas press run. That's real. Um, then Goodness. tick tick tick. How no, much that time that boy that got? That man is six six six. Is um is forty uh, Jewish, or no? <laughs> I don't want to stereotype. I'm, I'm Jewish. He looks Jewish. So uh, I, 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 don't I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I thought he was. I thought no, he but he's scoliosis, and he's like. Yeah, that was me. That, that was fucking too much. hard. That was, but that was a bit too much. that's another example of Drake hasn't like mm-hmm. slowed down mm-hmm. since that beef. And right now, there's a bunch of beefs happening. Even. Eminem. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, MGK's disc to him wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And I hate MGK. Mm-hmm. Wasn't bad. He said, like, mm-hmm. the real Slim Shady can't mm-hmm. stand up. Yeah. I kind of like that line. Yeah. M, like, kills him on a mm-hmm. song. MGK is now more famous than ever. Maybe it's because M made him switch genres. Yep. That's true. To making punk rock. Oh, MGK. Like, he's the same. And then right now, we're mm-hmm. seeing a beef, sadly, between yeah. Freddie Gibbs and Benny the Butcher. Yeah. And I say sadly because it's not even a music beef. Like, mm-hmm. there's Twitter fingers right yeah. now. And it's two men who are so scary. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want it to, yeah. at all to escalate mm-hmm. to something. But, like, they're just tweeting at each other. And yeah. it's, like, kind of weird. Mm-hmm. And that was because, um, basically, I, I've said this in the last episode that, um, I think it was, who was it? Uh, Ebro asked if it would be a collab album with Freddie and Benny. And he automatically deaded that. Like, no, yeah. it's not. And the reason was, Benny went out and said, Oh, Freddie was begging me to do a collab uh, album. He needed this collab, and Freddie felt some type of way about that. Yeah. So that's when they're, <laughs> twig- I like what you said, twigger- Twitter fingers, sure, yeah. and you know, just spilling out all their beef out there. Yeah, and fucking Freddie Gibbs like tweeted like, "Shout out to my Houston blank," uh-huh. and that's because where- that's where Benny got shot yeah. in the leg. Oh, what? I saw that um, tweet. But I don't know, man. That's yeah. whack, Freddie. Come on, bro. That um, is whack. That's the thing about me. Honestly, although although beef can be interesting to see, disc records are interesting to see. Personally, I don't really mess with it. Because, again, what happened yeah. to Biggie and Pac, that hurts. Awful. Big L, um, 
just so many rappers, man. Uh, it's just it's not even it's not even yeah. worth it. And they made such good music together, like Frank mm-hmm. Luke, yeah. Lucas on mm-hmm. the, um, the on the Freddie tape, mm-hmm. the One Way Flight on yeah. um, Burden of Proof. Mm-hmm. Both incredible tracks, and like I hope this isn't a whole Griselda Freddie mm-hmm. thing, because I mean Freddie and Conway, also that's Baby and Babies and Fools is one of my favorite songs mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, um, it's just sad to see. And yeah. Freddie's like always beefing with people on Twitter. It's kind of funny. It is when it's like academics or someone, mm-hmm. but like I don't want to see this. I don't, especially Freddie. Like you know, I mean, you're a grown man, and you're you're right now you're top of the rap game. So let's chill out. And then regarding yeah. to what uh, Push said. I kind of agree, I guess. I feel like because of this woke climate, I guess that kind of isn't as, I don't know, as tolerable maybe. I mean, like, maybe. what more would you have to expose from someone than telling someone that the biggest star in the world yeah. got a porn star pregnant yeah. and was hiding a secret baby from yeah. the entire world? I don't know what bigger information you could break. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I remember that crazy. dropped and I was just absolutely shook. And the thing is, Jake is just too big. Although I heard it, I'm like, Drake's ghostwriting allegations – is more impactful and heard it more than I guess this 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 yeah. record I think because have you heard yeah. the um original version of fuck what song it's the it's the Rico where it's um Quentin Miller rapping on it no that, that's like where the Quentin whole, wrote that verse with that, Mill and Drake that's where the whole beef started because there's a reference track where he even like, he says like he starts the verse wow. the same way. And it's not completely the same, but there's flows taken mm. from it. So that was the whole beef. And Meek Mill's like, you came on my album and didn't write your own shit. Ooh, okay, okay, That was the okay. whole start. But yeah, I'll show you that after. Yeah, man, I mean, that's crazy. And again, like, the M- 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 one too, like, MGK did get bigger. It just really just depends. But I honestly don't mess with this is like that. It's just not cool. I feel like you're yeah. grown, you're grown and people. Also, M was kind of soft for that. Like, he was mad about a tweet, like, from five years before when... He just said, like, your daughter's cute. And, like, I don't know. But who stro- who who striked? Okay, never mind. MM did on Kamikaze. I take that. Yeah. Back. yeah. <laughs> and he, that was kind of why. That verse was heat. But um, that that beef did make me realize how upper echelon rap can be. If you heard the rhyme schemes that M was using compared Crazy. to MGK, it blew it out oh, of MGK's the Oh, MGK's, like, not a good rapper. He just had some, like, lines that were good. Yeah. <laughs> your beard is weird. I like that line. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> your beard is weird. Okay, man, MGK. Now you're in rock. You're a rock superstar yeah, now. Yeah, so. it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep hitting Ohio. Love you. Bad. I don't like him. Uh, um, we got some good music mm-hmm. coming out. So we have Vince Staples, Ramona Park, broke my heart. Mm-hmm. Um, the last EP or um, album, I guess, Vince mm-hmm. titled Vince Staples was mm-hmm. so good. So I'm really excited for this. Um, I'm not sure what changes I want f- from Vince. I don't know. I f- longer, please. Longer, definitely longer. <laughs> I mean, maybe some more features. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her name wrong, but Fushi was on the last album. That was a okay. good song, but it was a little like basic. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm excited for this project. He's like, I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, and I, it, yeah. And like, you said last time it was a continuation or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he was. He tweeted something like, "You should listen to Vince Staples before you listen to Ramona Park." Okay. I didn't yeah. give that album enough listens. I listened. I'm pretty sure I, I didn't, didn't even finish it. I want to lie. I was like halfway through and I was uh-huh. busy and I just didn't go back. Again, like you said, so many al- albums yeah, are yeah, coming yeah. in because of streaming. So I just couldn't get to it. I feel you. But I l- the first two songs of the album are so hard. Yeah. Okay, I'll get to it. I promise I will. Then we get um, Favio Foreign mm-hmm. Bible. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to listen to this. It's not. I'm not the biggest mm-hmm. Drill fan. Yeah. But this man's getting love. I think he's about to appear on a Nicki mm-hmm. feature. Yeah. Um, he's on a Kanye feature. Again, after that Don Diverse on, on, well, off the grid, right? Yeah. He killed that. He actually did kill that. So I guess he got he garnered a lot of respect from that verse. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he's still dope. And to go along, it's not the same type of rap, but there's mm-hmm. a we saw on Twitter a Lil Baby snippet came out over yep. sampled the pound cake beat mm-hmm. or just sampled Ellie Golding. I'm yeah. not sure which one. Ellie. There's a good respect, respect. Yeah, like, I don't know if she's he's actually sampling the pound cake beat. He might just be sampling the mm-hmm. same sample. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I didn't so me and Andrew Kelly were talking about yeah. this on Twitter. And there's just something about it that just maybe his voice just doesn't hit my ear. I'm just not the biggest fan of Lil mm-hmm. Baby. I understand like he's really good. I like his style, but like it's not something I'm gonna play. This song didn't really excite yeah. me. And what I liked about what he said was basically that this new snippet is something that Lil Baby's already done, and he keeps coming in with the same flows, yeah. same cadences, and nothing's changing. And you brought up a really good point. I saw your tweet. Yeah. Well, we can say that, but when it comes to respectable rappers, almost like Griselda, they do the same thing when no one says anything. Yeah. And I thought that was a really, really, really good take. And yeah. even though that is the case, I will snub them both just to say that I, as an artist and someone who enjoys listening to music, I would really love to see, you know, changes in your music, growth. Yeah. You know what so I mean? So I think that's why someone like Freddie Gibbs is so dope because you have a song called, like, Gat Damn, mm-hmm. where he's like, he's not the best singer, but he's yeah. trying. Yep. And it's and good. Like, I like it. I like that song, mm-hmm. too. It's like bad singing, but in a good way. Mm-hmm. Like, So I think Freddie, that's why I have so much, that's why I'm so excited for his album because yeah. I think he's someone that does really experiment with his voice mm-hmm. and tries doing those things. But the point I made was, like, Bodie James 
is someone where it's the same kind of monotone voice, mm-hmm. same type of beat choice too yeah. every time. But I just like his pen game. Yeah. And I like the way he describes things when he said in the um, ben, the Benny album, I can't trust my own silhouette or something. Mm. And it's just like a dirt. I just like the way he raps. Yeah. And at the end of the day, some people just like the way Lil Baby raps. Mm-hmm. And that's their thing. I'm just not a fan of his like pen. It's not like, whoa, he said that in that clever way. You remember Once in Needs when he dropped that verse, right? Yeah. Was that last year or this yeah. year? Last year? To me, that was one of the best verses of that year. I think yeah, I, I didn't even like again. that song. I like What's Next on that better, like on that EP. But what'd you think about that verse was like verse? Like it's fire. He's rapping his ass off, but like I don't I wasn't playing that song. Like that wasn't my that was like my mm-hmm. third favorite out of the three songs that dropped on that EP. But he had bars, bro. Shark in the water, you swim off the little fish. I'm not a goat, but I fit the description. That's a hard line. The, yeah, that's a hard line. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> his, his pen is slept on. His pen is definitely slept on. Um there's something that got me angry. What? Uh Baby Keem mm-hmm. said there's a 50-50 chance we're yeah, getting yeah. a Kendrick collab with mm-hmm. him. First off, mm-hmm. let Kendrick drop his fucking <laughs> album first before we start talking about collab. And I'm going to say what we're all thinking. No. Yeah, no. J. Cole. Yeah. We don't want Baby yeah. Keem. I know it's your cousin. Yeah. I don't I don't need that. Yeah. The world, I just, if I was in their position, they know they can make something that everyone wants. Mm-hmm. I don't just do it. You're the two. <laughs> just do it. I don't. Just, I don't I, shit I don't makes know. me angry. I find there's stuff behind the scenes that maybe there's a reason. Not like anything bad. I, but I it's think just it's. Like, I think it's scheduling stuff. Just they're two yeah, the most famous artists. Exactly. Not two of the three most famous artists mm-hmm. in rap, and I think it's just hard to find times with touring and yeah. Kendrick still making this album. Mm-hmm. But like maybe after they've dropped, it couldn't be in their forties. I don't mm-hmm. care. But I think they owe it like to the yeah. world. There's no collaborate. Mm-hmm. There's no rap song with them two on it. There are songs where Kendrick is on the chorus. Yeah, Forbidden Fruit. Slapper, love that song. And there's like an unreleased song mm-hmm. on YouTube. You can see them mm-hmm. rapping together when they're like yeah. really young. Mm-hmm. But there is not one rap. Yeah. And they did the, the um, what's it called, Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Shit was dope. Oh. Come on, one song. The thing is, I understand Baby Keem is going to be the first signee to Kendrick's new label. Yeah, PG Lang. PG Lang. So they're definitely going to have a lot of collaborations in the future. I don't know about yeah. a collab album. In terms of the Kendrick and J. Cole, and when it comes to big artists, we say it all the time. Oh, I want a, another Renegade, M. and Nas. I wanted this. But when you yeah. notice about the big artists, is they never really do it. And there's a specific reason for that. I just don't know what it is, but it is what it is. But- and then the difference for the J. Cole and Kendrick is the fact that their project's already out. I mean, it's, they already have it. It's literally sitting in their files of all the songs they did together. Yeah, they must have. Yeah, but at least five just sitting there. Yeah. Even if, oh, just drop a song together. It doesn't have to be an album either. Just drop a song <laughs> together. The world wants it. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Mount Rushmore's dropping too. If you don't know Mount Rushmore, it's basically just Ice Cube, Snoop, and E-40, and uh, oh, word. I didn't re- when Too you, Short. Oh, that's me fire. On 420. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> and feature on there too. So that's Word, that'd be 42. good. Yeah. And you have the the future Brent Fias collaboration. Oh yeah. Um, I'm curious when this Brent album is gonna come out because mm-hmm. I'm really excited for it. Because Gravity was one of my favorite songs last mm-hmm. year. I didn't like wasting time that much. Shame. It wasn't bad, but I, shame. it was Drake, Pharrell, and Brent Fias should have been yeah. a hit song, and it wasn't. Yeah. And it was five minutes. It was really long. Mm-hmm. So now we got a future future one. I don't know if any of those mm-hmm. other songs will end up in the album. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. It's texted, cool. It's cool that he's getting mm-hmm. bigger. He texted his engineer. Um, and he was, I think it was an engineer basically saying, what well, was the soft deadline for the project? He said around June, so hopefully we get it soon. Bro, June might be crazy. Kendrick, Brent, Freddie. Yeah. Oh my, that's me. That's awesome. Honestly, man, I just want to hear Kendrick at this point. Obviously, I said before, I don't care, but I yeah. really do care. I do care, mm-hmm. but like, I mean, it is part of the time. And when mm-hmm. it does get announced, I'll be more excited than Freddie. But mm-hmm. right now, I'm more looking forward to Freddie because mm-hmm. I know more information about what the album that is. That's true. All we've heard about Kendrick was like three years ago. It's a rock album. <laughs> like what? I also don't need a rock album from Kendrick Lamar, but and cool. And he disappears too. I also saw that Sava's coming here too. He's having a tour coming. Right, he's coming the day I leave. So hey, if you want to go watch him. He's coming the day I leave. Oh. I'm so sad. Sava's one of your favorites, isn't he? Yeah. Damn. Sucks. Yeah. Hey, you got to see Tyler though, so it's all I good. I saw Tyler, that's cool. <laughs> Um, then Russ helping independent artists. Mm-hmm. So this TikTok challenge thing, I think is so dope. Yeah. And a lot of artists have been doing it where they're like, I'll offer a hundred dollars because gets Russ's song played. I think he got his first billboard charge, something yep. along the lines of that. Yeah. Um, if you want to explain it. Yeah. More. I've never seen, like you said, we we're talking about this earlier. I forgot what podcast episode it was, but how that was a really productive, uh, marketing strategy. Yeah. And, uh, there's a rapper, basically Russ put out a song called Hams- Handsomer. And basically, he did the remake challenge. You'll come and remake this and whatever. 
uh, there was a, a girl who did a rap first, and Russ liked it enough to actually put on the song, make a remix, yeah. release it. That song is now charting on Billboard. That's so incredible. Awesome. And man, all people hitting on Russ, screw off, man. Like he's not even he, bad. He's amazing. It's he just, really is. I think it's just because of some of the things he said in the past. But you have to respect a guy who's completely independent, mm-hmm. mix produces, makes all of his own beats. Yeah. And he makes good songs. Yeah. And he raps well, sings well. And the woman is uh, Caitlin. Caitlin the Rapper. And she's a uh, New York rapper from, uh, no, San Diego rapper. Like her full name is Caitlin the Rapper? Yeah. Her name, she goes by K-T-L-Y-N. That's how it's spelled. So Caitlin. And she, she is she a rapper. She should change that name. <laughs> we already had Chance the Rapper. Maybe, maybe that's just her Instagram. Yeah, like... it's just Instagram. I think she just goes by Caitlin. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she raps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, this, mm-hmm. oh, what are the highest selling rap albums? Of tw- I have a screenshot have too. If I still even have the screenshot, I know I have it. Da, 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 da. Yes. All right. Wait, these are highest selling rap. I'm gonna guess. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Go guess. I'm try- what? Maybe I can't. I don't even know what's dropped now. Um. Oh, Lil Durk is okay. on there. Okay. Um. Not that I listened to the album. No offense to Durk, but I, just, mm-hmm. I knew it sold a lot. Um. Is is, is Benny there? Mm-mm. No. This is a little bit skewed because this is in totality. I'll just tell me. So I'm not, not going to okay. really guess. So in order, Gunna, oh, totally Drake, sure. Doja Cat, Juice World, Young Boy, Polo G, Lil Baby, My Turn, uh, Killer Roy, and then oh, Eminem like, for like, Curtain Call. So it's like totality of albums. Oh, okay. Sold. Yeah. I, that's hard. I was never going to guess <laughs> yeah. Curtain Call. <laughs> I should have warned you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say Drake wasn't dropped this year. Yeah. Um, to get into some of the artists that dropped, mm-hmm. um, you sent me this D-Smoke song, Crossover, featuring mm-hmm. Boogie. My man. And this song was dope. I love the chorus. It's really cool. And I'm going to go on a little Boogie rant right now. This man is so fucking good. Yep. He keeps dropping these freestyle verses. And um, we were talking before, I'm not sure if it's about, maybe he's taking his time with the album. Maybe M's just, just being another bad executive move again. Because we were talking about how <laughs> The last album was amazing and didn't yep. get the, the marketing. And I think Boogie is on the same level skill-wise and like it sh- he should be popular-wise as Saba, mm-hmm. J.I.D., like all those guys. Amine, yep. like I think he should be on that level. If not, he this next album should take him there. He has such a good ear for melodies. His rapping is so good. His voice is so distinct. Um, I love this man. Um, I, guess I remember when M signed him, I'm like, M, you have a really talented man on your hands. Um, I think it's kind of crazy a little bit that he hasn't dropped since 2018, so it's been yeah. four years as an up-and-coming artist. That isn't the best thing. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a PR yeah. or whatever. And yeah. I guess M or Paul, Rosen, Paul Rosenberg, mm-hmm. well, I guess they have a good ear for signees because yeah. I love Grip. They got mm-hmm. Griselda. Like, yeah. good for them. Yeah. But you got to do something with it because like, they yeah. could be a top label if they did something with the talent mm-hmm. they have. And I, I think it's just frustrating to see that. I just don't know, like you said, is it – a label thing or is it a boogie thing? Yeah. So I don't think they'll be like, no, you can't drop. I agree. Mm-hmm. And he posted a picture yeah. with M a couple weeks ago. So maybe yeah. that means it's coming sooner. It's coming soon. But Boogie's also dropped so many freestyles are so fire mm-hmm. on his like, Instagram page. So I feel like he's ready to drop. And he's dishing out great features. I remember his outside yeah. uh, feature with Joey Badass. Now this feature with D, uh, D Smoke and a couple others. Yeah. Also D Smoke. He was also a science teacher. Really? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. He was a Spanish teacher. So he speaks Spanish fluently. But All he right, was a Spanish cool. teacher. Dropped out. Pursue music and look at him. He's awesome. That's amazing. That's why I love that guy. And he yeah. also got nominated for a Grammy like last year, two years yeah, ago. Yeah, there was a song I listened like I didn't know him that well mm-hmm. and I didn't realize it was D Smoke, mm-hmm. but he's a dope artist. Yeah, he did a freestyle with Sway where he was rapping. He yes, was on and off. That's what I saw. That Spanish. was sick. Yeah, goat man. Oh my, that's so impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, then my guy Deontay Hitchcock I'm mm-hmm. um, dropping the first single for his album Alone. So I just mm-hmm. want to give him a shout out. Um, I thought this was a really dope song. Yep. Um, he just had an EP that came out. I like we talked about before, Neck Up. I loved it, it was more melodic. Mm-hmm. And I I'm I think he's also someone that is kind of nearing that like JID boogie, like because he's boys with all them too. Mm-hmm. But I think he could be nearing that with his album. I'd be really excited to see that. Do you know when his uh, project will drop? His album? I'm not sure if he put a release date out. I don't think he even put up the name of okay. the album out yet. But coming but, soon. Yeah. Excited for that. And I hopefully this one. Obviously, it takes time. Obviously, it's a journey, you know, but hopefully yeah. this one really puts him up there because he is really amazing. And I've been onto him ever since you mentioned him. Yeah, his yeah. freestyle. I forget um, which program it mm-hmm. is but he fucking slid i think it's over still tipping too go check Which that we were playing yeah pa wow <laughs> um <laughs> best rapper best rapper alive best rapper of all time best yes sir <laughs> <laughs> um there's someone we've reviewed constantly mm-hmm. in the show i'm not sure if we've done her song specifically yeah. yet 
but she's been on a tear with these features. Mm-hmm. Um, Byrie, mm-hmm. she's part of the collective of, I'm not sure she's signed to the, the same collective mm-hmm. that these guys are, but Dende, Chris Patrick, yeah. she's always collaborating with mm-hmm. them. Um, do you want to play a clip of that song, Spring yes, Cleaning? Yes, Spring Cleaning. Yeah, this is her new song that she just dropped. Um, Amazing voice. I know your head is nodding, yeah. I know yeah, your head is nodding. This shit's yeah. soothing as hell. Yeah. Um, she's really good. And she reminds me of Mariba. If you know Mariba, she's a cl- frequent collaborator with like JID and all those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out by Reed. Yeah. She's on a fucking run. She has an amazing voice. And like you said, I kind of saw her through the collaborations with uh, yeah. all of them. So I really, again, I hope these these group of collectives right here really make it big because they are seriously talented and they put in the work for sure. Yeah. yeah. And another guy, we had to shout this out because, see, Buckeye Nation, I don't think he went to Ohio State. <laughs> but my guy is from Ohio, Lacey Jackson. Um, just dropped his new song, Ops. Um, he had an s- album come out last year called Forever Loading, which I really, really liked. Mm. Um, he's fire. And he's always posting on Twitter, yep. which I think, like, it's it's cool seeing other people's marketing techniques. Mm-hmm. He's always posting the music videos and stuff. Yeah. But um, play this track. I love Let's get it. It's like DJ Drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth ass flow. Yeah. Um, We're in a world for me. Yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're into like that motivational type rap, yeah. this guy's the man. Like yeah. his lines are very motivational. So I definitely suggest checking out um Forever Loading. It was a great project. Yeah. Um then another guy that I always see, um, this man is a skilled motherfucker. We played the song to intro the um episode we'll play it again Mm -hmm. john swy separate this man produces mix masters and raps his fucking ass off um i know he gets his comparison a lot but he has kind of like a cold feel to me and he's just really really good play the joint yeah play that shit Trying to do this right is exhausting. See niggas cut off their conscience. See niggas switch up for nonsense. Real niggas keep up the pauses. Uh, rather keep my soul than a Ooh. dollar. This boy's crazy out there. Yeah, he's nice. They gon' make them for like Didn't you say he produces two? Yeah. He produced this? Beat. Did he produce this one? Wow. I don't know, yeah. did he? I think he did. I wow. assume he did. Um. That, Ooh, that how do you die for the block with the block and ass? God damn, John. That was actually so hard. It's a hard ass line. Um, yo, shout out to him. That's a fire ass song. That's Check amazing. that one out. And he's a bunch of other songs out. Mm-hmm. So I suggest him. Um, then a guy who um, shared me his music, and I was really impressed. I was just DMing him, and he told me he mixed this himself. Yeah. And his name is um, Ben Blanks. The song is How It Was, and we'll play it in a second. Mm-hmm. But I think someone who make who also like, tries mixing his own mm-hmm. music, Auto Tune is really hard to nail. Yeah. It's really easy to sound really bad on Auto Tune. Mm-hmm. So people don't give T Pain his props <laughs> for how good he does it. But um, play this. I think this yeah. song was really dope. Don't mean to scare you, but the end is coming soon. It's all happening too fast. Very soothing no song. And if they ask, just say you're not involved. No trailer, no to see. And he's dropping his album May 5th, I think, uh, or whatever Friday is that month. May 5th? When you sent this my way, man. I was expecting like rap and I heard this and yeah. I love this type of music. I love alternative and stuff like this. This is amazing. Yeah, and he's got a song coming out with Isaac Zale, who's someone we've, we've reviewed in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's a single coming out, I think, next week. So I'm excited I'm excited for this album now because yeah, that's a dope ass track. I love the track. If you don't see this uh, this cover, also, yeah, wow. The, where did he, I bro, don't know where he got that. Because I'll be honest, when people tweet me their songs mm-hmm. in, in the, on that link I tweet, mm-hmm. that like, I'm like, oh, I have to listen to this. Yeah. This is a dope-ass cover. Yeah. So it's really important. I've, we've talked about it before, but album covers, if you're an independent artist, are so critical. Mm-hmm. And like, it might be worth spending that money to get yeah. it because that really might be what catches someone's eye and they're like, okay, that is true. I'll try it. So I'm making something that looks like buns. Yeah. <laughs> immediate, immediate turn off. Um, but yeah, shout out Ben Blanks. That shit was fire. That was amazing. I'm excited for his project. You said May, maybe? Yeah, I think it's May 5th or May awesome. 4th. I don't know what the Friday is that week. Um then Chance Rapper, Child of God. I'll be honest, I only listened to it once. 
I wasn't like in love with it. What do you think? Oh, cap! Only heard portions of it. I saw a little bit of the music video too. Yeah. It sounded cool. It was like it was like a almost like a I am back guys type of vibe. It was really chill, low key. It wasn't anything crazy. So it was just like a, a little notification out there saying, "Yo, I'm back, guys. Yeah. I'm taking this serious. No more big. What is it called? Hot shower, hot shower. Yeah. We're taking it for real this time." <laughs> <laughs> um, if this is the single, I mean, I'm like not. It doesn't make me that excited mm-hmm. for a possible album just because. I don't know, I think it's saying like you, you had no problem in the past. That was so hard. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just loved it. That's crazy, bro, because I know you're a huge uh, Chance yeah, fan. Yeah. So for you to be like, I don't eh. know. It didn't get me too hyped for it, but I'll still I'll still be hyped yeah. when it, when he announces it fully. Um, but she's just been like kind of disappointing. I still, people give him a hard time. It was one album and people were trashing just the because, album before it even existed. It's just because he hasn't released anything in so long since. Maybe because y'all clowned him. You had to get yeah. him to go back to his family. But I liked his feature on ACAB that we reviewed a couple weeks ago. Yeah, ACAB was good. Either way, I'm excited. I know Chance is going to come back strong. Yeah. When they come back strong, everyone's going to jump on the bandwagon. I'm like, yeah. no, no, the, the train the train already left. The bus already left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, an album that dropped this week, a big album, Denzel Curry, yep. um, Melt My Eyes, See Your Future. Small question, this doesn't even matter, but do you think putting the Z in eyes is a little played out? Because of Tupac? Just like fool your eyes only. And hip hop. I feel like everyone just does it in hip hop and puts the Zs in We there. can think Pac though. I think Pac's the first one who did it. No, no, he is. Oh, okay. I, I assume. For all eyes I'm saying, is it like a little like played out? Yeah, I mean... I wouldn't say so, but like when I see, I'm like, okay, Pac, and then I'll make automatically. I'm like, okay, that wasn't as creative, but it's still yeah. fine. I still think it's dope. Um, so this album, I'll first start with the beat choice. Mm-hmm. I think it's amazing. Yeah. The beats on this project, some of them still get, stood out to me were um, X Wing mm-hmm. with the piano roll. I'm just like a sucker for that shit. Um, John Wayne, I really liked. Um, Troubles, I think that's Kenny Beats, and I think that was a great part of the project. There's certain songs I really like on it. But as I said before, sometimes his voice just doesn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. And he's talking about like real shit in this album, which I do appreciate. He talks about his depression he went through and a lot of he's talking on Melt Session on the first song about um just maybe like not physically abusing women, but maybe like taking advantage of them mm-hmm. in a way. Um and I thought that was like really vulnerable of him to do. And he talks about a lot of stuff on this that's really I think appreciated by his fans, but I'm not sure it's like just my favorite style of how he raps. I think he raps kind of in an 80s style. Okay. Where it's like kind of, it's not simple what he's saying, simple but simple. Simple slow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you say, where do you rank this in his discog? Or would you, is this like your favorite Zenzo project? Or would you say, was it Taboo still better? I've heard Taboo in a long time, but. I just love certain songs on Taboo. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I've listened to this enough to be like, like I think this Foley might be better for me, mm-hmm. but there isn't a song that stuck out to me yet. I really like Troubles featuring T-Pain, yeah. and I think I ranted about this last episode, but <laughs> yeah. I want a T-Pain album. Yeah. He's killing features. I love that he found his, yeah. how to inst- work his Instagram yeah, TMs. Yeah. <laughs> he is amazing. Uh, T-Pain, again, I love him. When it comes to Denzel, I, I think I agree with exactly what you said. As this project as a whole, I like it more than Taboo, because Taboo is on off. There's some tracks I liked and some tracks I didn't yeah. like, but they're really high highs. I remember there's one track, I think we both know, like Balloons or something like that, that I really enjoyed. Back Balloon. Yeah. yeah uh, for this project, the first thing that he said that stands out is the production. Um, it's, a, it's different, and that's what yeah. I appreciate from any artist. You're changing up your style, you're trying something new. Yeah. And this is what people are pushing Denzel to do. Um, more rap, boom bap, ly- boom bap lyrical focus. Um, stripped back beats, nothing crazy. Yeah. There was maybe a few tracks on here, which honestly I didn't like, which was one X Wing. I thought that was not needed. It sounded like a knob gunna type song. Yeah. And he just I just like the beat that. on it, but I don't love him specifically. Exactly. On it. I think there was maybe one more. No, I think that was really the only one. But apart from that, uh, the production absolutely amazing crazy. and different. The lyrics, a lot more focused in. Um, he's trying to be as lyrical as possible. Yeah. He had a few couple bars in here. I forget what one was, but it was something regarding lead and eraser. Lead and eraser is on a pencil, but he's talking about lead as in bullet fire, which I thought was yeah. absolutely brilliant. Oh, here's one that I saw him tweet it. He says, um, I run the jewels. Wait, I'm trying to think. I run the jewels because I'm I kill the mic on any LP, mm-hmm. and those are the two guys in Run the Jewels, Killer Mike and LP. Yeah. So that's a fire line. But there's a song like Ain't No Way, which I think I'm gonna say Six Slack, even though it's black. Mm-hmm. Six Slack, um, which I thought would start off so well, and I just I just don't like Rico Nasty on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, and she had some I feel like anger. Um, yeah. And obviously, all the you know, the the bashes things she's been experiencing. Uh, but once I heard Rico's, I kind of was a turn off until I heard Jid Jid came through, and then he yes, sir. lucky did his thing on that. Um, but the features were amazing, and I honestly enjoyed every track. I'm not gonna lie. Um, um, Walk in, the mail session was amazing. Worst Walk comes to worst, I love. 
Um, John Wayne was dope. It was different. The yeah. last, honestly, I really like every single track, but X Wings. I really enjoyed this project. Not the best of the year, but it was still very, very good. Yeah. And I'm taking this over the Corday project. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. More experimental, more different. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Then the Nego album. Mm -hmm. So the feature, like the songs that came out, he dropped like most of the album before it even mm -hmm. came out. I still love Aria by ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. I've had that on repeat. Slapper. Like that shit's fire. Mm -hmm. Um. We talked about before the um ASAP Rocky um Tyler song, fire. And Tyler's song, the last one on the album, is so good. And you can just see he just keeps getting better and better at rapping. And I assume that he produced this beat. It just sounds mm -hmm. like a Tyler beat. Um, but I love that track. But what do you think Yeah, about to the me, album? again, that was the best song on the project. And like you said, forget about even the rapping. It's just, he's so freaking unique. The yeah. celly, blah, blah, belly. I've never heard anyone do that. Yeah. The concept of the song, I'm waiting for you to get. How many How many people deal with that on a daily basis? It's a basis? full song just about a girl who's not ready. But And everyone experiences that, right? Yeah. But who's actually written a song about that? Maybe it's been done, but like And I've just written about it, but like just done it in such a creative way. That's what I'm saying. It's just so good. Amazing. Um, he killed it. Come on, man. Let's go. Hey. Yeah. Um, and this project, again, honestly, this was top to bottom. It was fantastic. Nigo, hey, Kanye, and everyone else taking advantage of Pop Smoke. That's how you treat Pop Smoke. That song was great. Yeah, you like that And one. after that, that should please be the last one. Man. On the other hand, <laughs> Uzi, no more drill beats. Yeah, I see what you're talking no about more... now. When I heard that, I'm like, ugh. Oh, and the Punchbowl Clips mm -hmm. reunion, Amazing. really dope. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I wanted, I mean, they're talking about the same shit that they mm -hmm. always talk about with each other. Yeah. Maybe just because it's the first time in a while they're together, I thought we might get some more introspection mm -hmm. about like where No Malice has been at and yeah. doing. But dope ass track. Yeah. And I actually like Hear Me Clearly a lot more now. It grew on me. Yeah. I really no, I agree. do like it. It's a, no, it's a really good song. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, once I hear something, I'm like, when I want when I hear a new album, mm -hmm. I want all new music. Yeah. So it's like when stuff is released too far in advance, like if it's a week in advance, hype, cool. Tyler does that. Drops like what's your name video, then drop the album a week later and did uh and Lumberjack. But like this is like a little too far past that like I'm ready for new stuff. And what was the other Diet Coke? Is a little too like far back. Man, y'all crazy. I thought Diet Coke, that uh, was still one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Cap, I don't care, bro. Cap, that song was crazy. Cap, it's not the best song you heard in your life. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Here you go. I was say lastly to get into an album. I didn't listen to it fully, yeah. but it was really good. Um, Lado 777. Yep. Um, I've been playing the Sunshine track on repeat. Um, Wayne slid on this, and I was telling this to you. I think Wayne sounds better on these brighter beats. That's why I want the Tyler produced mm -hmm. album. I think he would slide on that or even like a Neptune's produced album just something like a little bit brighter yeah. and awesome to see Childish Gambino back rapping yeah. that was flows a little drakey yeah I was gonna say I remember I didn't hear it yet my friends heard it first and they were hyping it up oh Gambino's back yeah. and of course I'm a huge Gambino fan he just dropped season 3 of Atlanta if you know Atlanta's show yeah I need, to re I need to watch season 2 before I watch season it won three. some crazy award but he's killing it. he's doing yeah, his thing um, and now he's back again hopefully his, he's dropping an album this year that would yeah. be humongous his, his flow reminded me I'm not sure what Drake's song it is I think it's a feature when he goes like mm -hmm. I hit on a hoodie my cousin a goodie and then no, 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 no. Uh, my cousin a goodie uh, I think it's song Baby oh Baby laugh, cry, laugh Now Cry Later no 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 it's not that I think it's a song with Lil Baby oh okay 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 cousin a goodie I don't know but I feel like uh, that, uh, my cousin was busy my brother and I'm busy yeah, yeah. My brother, whatever it's called I feel that flow was a Pikachu that, whatever, whatever whatever yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget the song so right when I heard oh. this flow I'm like oh it kind of sounds a little drakey yeah. but hey I'm not going to complain about some Donald Glover yeah once I hear him um, I'm going to be happy for the rest of the project Again, it's like you were saying, um, debating between what type of style or beats you want to be on. She yeah. does a lot of mix between like some hard like trap in a way to like yeah, yeah. Savage I, I personally don't like, but I loved it when she was on the pop stuff. I think yeah. she should be more like Doja Cat kind of, yeah. just in that kind of pop. Because she's realm. also a really good singer. I didn't exactly. know she had that song Sunshine. Like that song. chorus is fire. Is she not like big energy? Sunshine on me. Um, I'm forgetting that song. Which one That's it is. the song that I first heard. And this was before the okay. album dropped, the single, and it was again I heard it on the radio, and it was heat. Listen to big, big Word. energy. That's a great song. But that's all the projects that dropped so far recently. And if you say to the very end, thank you guys so much. We appreciate your all your support. Don't forget yes, if you're listening to streaming, five stars, please five. subscribe, like, comment. You guys know what to do. Anything I'm missing? Nah. All right, and we are out. Peace.